Good morning, good morning, good morning. Yes, uh, welcome to the Daily Grind. How you doing all day this morning? Good, I hope. I hope you're having a great morning. Hope you have a great day today, by golly. Let's get the crack of lacking. Patience. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't seem like there's a lot of that around these days. But here's something I noticed about society in general. Is a lot of people have a lot of patience with newborns. But when it comes to the elderly, they got none whatsoever. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. You need patience with both. Yes, you need patience with newborns. They're learning. They're just getting here on this planet. You know, they're going to learn to walk and talk and do all the things. And, geez, we all have this wonderful patience with them. And we talk funny to them. And we do all these things to get them to laugh and just all this stuff. But when it comes to an elderly person, we just get irritated. Why is that? That doesn't make any sense. In indigenous tribes, the elderly are revered. They're taken care of. They're worshipped. I mean, elderly people, they have a lot of wisdom. They've been around this planet for a long time. They've seen a lot. They've learned a lot. They've done a lot. I mean, you can talk to them and get a wealth of information. Yeah, they're a little bit slower. So what? Cut them, a, cut them some slack. They've worked their whole lives. You know, our elderly today were in World War II and Vietnam and Korea and all of these wars that, you know, if it wasn't for them, we might not be able to do what we do today. This might not be a free country. It could be a whole different world. And yet we have no patience with these people. I just don't get it. Have some patience. Take a little time with these folks. Listen to what they have to say. They don't want much. They really don't. They just want you to have a little patience with them so that they can do what they want to do and finish out the rest of their life here on this planet. Some kind of happiness. I mean, think about it. They got all kinds of physical problems going on. Most of them, they got, you know... They can't do what they used to do. They're slower at what they can do. That's frustrating in itself. I don't know about you, but I know for me, if I can't do something that I used to do or I, it takes me longer, it kind of frustrates me. It's like, geez, I used to be able to do this or that. And uh, I can't imagine what these older folks feel like, you know. They just can't do the things they used to do. It's got to be difficult on them. So lighten up already. Have a little patience with these people. These people were here to take care of us. And we need to be here to take care of them. It's real simple. Just have a little patience. What is your hairy anyway? That's what I want to know. What's the hairy anyway? Where are you going? Where are you got to be so fast? What is it that you got to do that's so important that you can't take five minutes out of your day to slow down and maybe help an elderly person out? Go and watch TV. You're going to miss something? Record it. Get over yourself. Take a little time. Help these people out. They deserve it. Um, you know, like I said, they paved the way for you. They've worked their whole life. They've done everything they had to do to help this society move along. Now you just want them out of the way and gone. Uh, remember, we're all going to get there one day. And how are you going to feel if somebody's treating you like that? It would be a whole lot better if people were a little patient and nice to you, wouldn't it? Well, do the same because what goes around comes around. Anyway, I've, it's just something I've noticed that people are wicked patient with little ones and uh, not so with the elders. And I think they deserve just as much as the little ones do. Anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Over.